A test run represents a single execution instance of one or more test cases. It can consist of a single test case, multiple cases grouped together, a test suite, or bundles of test cases from various suites. There are two ways to start a test run. An express run directly from the repository or a regular run from the test run section. To quickly start an express test run from the repository, select the test cases you want to execute and click Run. Select details such as environment, milestone, configurations, and other fields as needed. When you are finished, click Start a Run. To create a regular test run, go to the Test Run section. Click Start New Test Run. Fill out the fields and proceed to select your test cases from the repository, a test plan, or a saved query. Note that queries are available with business and enterprise subscriptions. When you are finished, click Start a Run. Once a test run is created, it will be listed in the Test Run section. In this section, you can view the following details, like the author of the run, environment where the run occurred, the time spent executing the run, and finally the status showing the summary with visual results. A test run status updates to passed, only if all test cases pass, but even a single instance of a failed result automatically change the run status to failed. Note that muted tests are excluded from the calculation of this final test run status. You can search for a test run or filter the runs by status, environment, milestone, tags, automation status, and other custom fields. You can bulk delete test runs by selecting multiple runs. Click Update Selected and click Delete. Clicking the three dots menu of a test run will provide additional options like cloning the run, editing the run, and accessing the run's dashboard. You can also access the dashboard of a run by clicking the test run name. Inside the Test Run dashboard, you can open the wizard and proceed to assign a status to your test cases. You can also open the wizard by clicking on any test case. If you want to share the report with someone outside your workspace, you can generate a public link. This allows external stakeholders to view the run's status without needing to be a member of your workspace. You also have the option to export reports in CSV or PDF format. From the three dots menu, you can clone the run, abort it, edit it, or modify its settings. You can search for cases by their ID or title, or use the filter to refine your search and quickly locate test cases. Bulk actions like assign, retest, or delete multiple test cases simultaneously can be done after selecting the test cases. Please note that if results are submitted in bulk to multiple test cases, the specified time duration will be evenly applied across all selected test cases. From the Run Details sidebar, you can view the properties of your run like the completion rate in the donut chart, which visually represents the status of your test run. Clicking on any segment filters the list accordingly. The status, author, tags, custom fields, configurations, and linked external issues can be viewed here too. In the wizard, you can assign a status to your test case, the default test case, Statuses are passed, failed, blocked, skipped, and invalid. Custom statuses can be created by navigating to the field section of your workspace, clicking the pencil icon to edit the result status field, and going to the values tab to manage custom statuses. Note that admin permission is required to modify statuses. Custom statuses can trigger workflows, such as defect creation when a status indicates failure. And finally, Deleted custom statuses remain hidden to preserve test run history. You can add comments, attachments, or report and integrate a defect with third-party apps after assigning a status to a case. You can also edit results by clicking the pencil icon in the wizard, where you can modify the actual result, add attachments, or change the duration. Click the green check mark to save your changes. The Defects tab shows the defects created from test cases with a negative status. Here you can see who reported the defect and, if integrated, find links to external issue trackers. 
The Team Stats tab shows the stats for individual assignees. Here you can monitor teammates assigned to test cases and view updates on their progress. You can check how many tests have been executed, their duration, and other performance metrics. In the Timeline tab, you will find a timeline chart that offers a visual overview of the test run, showing the test duration as a block's length to reflect the test execution time. For example, coincidental failures on the chart can be used to identify problems in the run's environment, like network issues. If you have untested cases, any edits made to the case in the repository sync automatically with the active run. Once the changes are done, refresh the page to see updates. Test cases can be assigned in two ways. The single user option can be used to assign cases to a specific tester with expertise in a feature or module, whereas the group assignee that can be used to assign test cases to a group of testers at once. Two distribution strategies are available when assigning test cases to a group. Even distribution, which evenly divides test cases among testers, and load balance distribution, which distributes test cases based on previous recorded durations of the selected test cases. You can configure a default group assignment strategy for your test runs from the project settings. The test run settings tab provides several options. Let's take a look. The options in the general section apply to both manual and automated test runs. Auto-complete option automatically completes the run once all test cases are assigned a status. Allow to add results for cases in closed runs enables users to modify results in completed test runs. If disabled, editing isn't allowed after test runs completion. The settings in the manual testing section apply only to manual test runs. Fast pass, if enabled, will skip the add result modal window for passed status, saving time. Default create or attach defect checkbox option, if enabled, automatically checks the select box in the add result modal when a negative result is added to a test case. Auto pass. When all steps within a test case are marked as passed, the entire test case will be automatically marked as passed. Auto Assignee option, if enabled, automatically assigns unassigned test cases to the user who opens them in the wizard. Fail case on step fail option, if enabled, failing any step within a test case will result in the entire test case being marked as failed. Assignee Result Lock option ensures only the assigned person can submit results for a specific test case. With the Redirect After Adding Result setting, you can configure what happens after assigning results. You can choose not to redirect after adding a result, or jump to the next untested case, or move to the next case within the same test suite.
The settings in the Automated Testing section apply only to results submitted via the API and automated test runs created by our API reporters. If you enabled the Create Test Cases option, new test cases are automatically created for results if a corresponding test case is not found in your case repository. If disabled, no new cases will be created for missing ones. Note that every new case must have a title, but the following fields being optional can be selected based on your preference. When you enable Update Test Cases, Case updates existing cases with changes, like modified test steps in your code. When disabled, cases remain unchanged even if the test results include updates. You could configure updates to occur only for past results or for all statuses. You can also choose to update specific test case types, like automated, manual, or both and control which fields are updated. Make sure to save your settings after making any changes to ensure they apply to future test runs. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles and our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message.